Good evening and welcome to Miami, Florida. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside for an unbelievable evening of SmackDown action. Hey Cole, this Miami crowd is all fired up, baby. They can't wait for the show to start and neither can I. And I'll tell you what, when this bad boy ends, we're going to South Beach. That makes two of us, Taz. And I know the entire SmackDown locker room feels the same way. So what are we waiting for? A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Man, does the porter look like a punk with that counter? Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Look at these fans. They didn't like that one bit. Yeah, well, you know what? I got some bad news for these fans. He don't give a damn what you think. Well, it looks like submission hole locked in. We may see a tap out right here. And even if you can't make your opponent tap out, this will take a lot of fight out of him. is about getting inside the head of his opponent. Oh, man, this is just about the last hold you want to find yourself in. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. He saw that one coming. Man, this match is so good. It's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Cole. Well, thanks a lot, Tom. My number one choice for a broadcast partner, either. You know what you should do, Girl Pants? You should team up with Jerry Lawler. Then it could be the king and queen on commentary. Real funny, Taz. You know, that would almost be worth not having to work with a joker like you all the time. I love hearing the crowd come alive, even when I don't exactly agree with what they're saying. Me too. And I do agree with what they're saying, Taz. <laughs> I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not going to hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Geez, Cole, watch your language, will you? It's a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. Trevor Murdoch is a nasty, brutal competitor, and I think these fans would like to see him get his comeuppance here tonight. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll tell you what. I think the WWE fans would like to see and hear you stop saying words like comeuppance. What the hell is that? It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed to get a hell of a show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly... He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. Oh, man, he's fed. It looks like he's decided to finish off his opponent. And what a way to do it. A tombstone pile drive. <laughs> Here's the pin. This could be it. I'll tell you, they broke the mold when they made a superstar like Trevor Murdoch. And what an ugly mold it must have been. And thank goodness for that. What? Uh-oh. You know what's coming next, Cole. Tombstone pile driver. How many superstars have fallen victim to that over the years? Watch it. He reversed it. there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary Deadman, 
The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. And the dead man's been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Taz, but I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the Phenom. <clears throat> Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, trust me, you can cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off these superstars, Taz. I don't think anything could be more obvious. You're looking like a guy who's never been in there, Cole. Trust me, when it comes down to you or them, it's a whole different level of intensity. I'll have to take your word for it, Taz. I honestly can't imagine a more electric atmosphere than the one in this arena right now. Talk about superstars who ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single time. Uh oh, man. Did you see that? He busts the fight up. After that last shot, and there's the pin. I can't believe they let Trevor Murdoch compete in public like this. There must be a half a dozen crying children at ringside right now. Yeah, the reason why these children around ringside are crying is because they're listening to your goofy face. I was actually referring to his brutal, violent style task, but I'm sure that scowl on Murdoch's face isn't helping that. <laughs> Here's your winner, The Undertaker!